So what's up everybody, my name is Armstrong Sass and today we're going to be talking about the shirt, how to smudge the shirt, how to have this cartoonish feel on the shirt, how to do every single thing you need to do on a shirt. This is what Adam cost. I mean if Adam did not Adam, Adam, where are you? We would not be here on the shirt. Do I know you from Adam? Hey, Madam, uh, no, we know matter even if you know us from if. But I mean, it's a blessing in disguise, so I have to teach you and you have to learn. So if it's the first time I've come to this channel, you know what to do. Let's hit right to it. So this is Sakodi. Yeah, this is Sakodi. I mean, if, 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 you're, an, if you're an African, you should know him. He's a hardcore rapper. Kept you in the kitchen cross, superwoman and I believed in your vision. What else? Capri name and hope, but I was wishing. Yeah, what else? So what else? What else do we need to do? Right now, first of all, I'm just gonna take out this picture from the background. Remember these videos are uh, no fast forward videos. So it might probably be a little bit long, but I promise you, I promise you, if you stay to the end, you definitely love every single bit of it. I promise you. Yeah. And the first thing I always do is take out the picture from the background. I've done it already in these layers, so I'm going to just turn this off. And you see, I've taken a picture from the background. I did that to save time. And then the next thing I usually do is to separate the head from the shirt. And there are a lot of videos. I have a lot of videos about how to do that. I'm going to turn, turn this off. And this will have just the shirt. It looks like a 3D shirt already. So one, one thing I usually do, first of all, with the shirt is to turn up the resolution. Sometimes there are some clothes you want to use and you don't turn up the resolution so much But you know, I usually do this in most of my videos. I made the resolution like 300. No, no not 3000 300 And I press ok. Now this picture is this clear because I got it from Twitter Ok now, so this is what we have. Now it's in 300 resolution, the display pixels, that the DPI is in 300, that's beautiful. Which is the extended value of quarantine plus nation equals quarantination. So the next thing I usually do most times is to take it to oil paint. Now this is the reason I take it to oil paint and I put very mild oil paint on it. Now the reason I take it to oil paint is because this part that i mean the color not color what's this called i don't know the folds this part is it feels like a band now oil paint helps to just make make the whole thing a lot easier and then when you work on clothes that have patterns is this but there's a very 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 tricky part about working on oil paint on a plain shirt like this and i'm going to show you that in a second so i'm going to go back to photoshop cs6 to work on the oil paint well if you don't use photoshop cs6 you use other ones then you see or you see oil paint in the stylized now but this is grayed out so you work on oil paint with the photoshop cs6 so in photoshop cs6 i'm just going to probably add a little bit of oil paint but before i do that now there's something i usually do when i'm working on a plain shirt and that's add shadows and highlights but not the way you regularly add it now, i'm just going to duplicate this with ctrl j and i'm just going to go to shadows and highlights now when you add shadows and highlights don't add something like this it's going to ruin your work i mean something that's a default is going to ruin your work so one thing you want to do is this because this looks a lot washed out so one thing you want to do is to reduce the shadows a little bit like this and for the highlight i mean you can bump it up or i mean if it's something a little bit dark like this it's not going to show very much but then for the shadows you can make it say three or four depends depends on what it was before so I, i'm just going to show you how it was before this is before and this is now now this is a lot better because it somehow makes it not so realistic now to make it sharper as usual i'm just going to add the high pass to it so i'm going to duplicate i like duplicating every single time i work on something new but the high pass is i'm just going to duplicate and and make it vivid light and then go to high pass you're just going to make it sharper nothing really really special you know when we do this sometimes people feel like oh god this guy just did some very techy god shit uh no nah, i didn't i didn't do that I did, just it's just a plain plain word so now the next thing i'm going to do is to add oil paint now the reason i add oil paint is because i mean there are these little little dots and sometimes when you're not very careful you notice that this little little dot gets to show in the overall image and that's like almost very bad for what you're doing so i'm just going to go over to where is it oil paint now i have a system like i always say that does oil paint but i feel like a lot of you guys i might not be able to afford that kind of system so now this is what a lot of persons do on this shirt now they do this they add oil paints like this and it's totally wrong you should not do this i mean you should not do this i, I was not in support of adding oil paints to the shirt until recently and that's because of a reason i'm going to 
tell you at the end of the day but first don't do like this it's way too much so first thing i want to do is take it down the shine a whole lot now when you take down the shine it becomes a whole lot better and then the cleanliness i'm going to reduce it way uh, too much and then the stylization i'll make it somewhere like this now it's going to make all these edges all these edges and it's going to make it easier to smudge i mean when it's going to make it a whole lot easier to smudge i mean photoshop cs6 has this thing that it does it doesn't just i don't know somehow it just uh, it feels like it's not so sleek or so fluid i mean maybe that's why they had upgrades to it so photoshop cs6 makes it easier to smudge now this you see the way it changed now uh, before and now before and now now it makes it a whole lot easier to smudge now this is what i have and so you can see the one beneath and how it is now now you notice there's this whitish thing here is because of how we cut out the picture this blackish thing because of how we cut out the picture from the background but it really really doesn't matter when you're working with smudge paint so yeah you can go over to smudge here but i really like doing my remaining stuff in photoshop cc17 because it makes it a whole lot easier and doesn't crash so next i will do is smudge and i'll pick the smudge brush that's going to be my video description just in case you have an issue and you don't know where to get the smudge brush i really don't know how to tell persons to download it or stuff because i have a video dedicated for just that but all the same now i'm going to make the strength 30 like i said and i'm just going to make the size depends on the picture but i'm going to make the size say i don't know say over 100 now when you're smudging in this part now one thing you want to do is make sure that this axis um basically the way i'm smudging is holding down the left click and i just drag it alongside the part i want it to be So this is what we have now. Now the next thing I want to do is to add colors. Now if you can take note, you notice that I really, really did not add any. I really did not smudge this neck, the neck part of it, because I really do not like smudging it, because I feel like it's a fold and it should be there like that. So that's why I usually use the oil paint. So I'm gonna just come over here to the create new layer and once you create a when you when you click a create on create a new layer here it's going to create a layer above it and i'm going to clip it as well by right clicking to create clipping mask and then i'll go to color then i'll go to the eye drop tool and pick a color here now this is the color with alternate and backspace i'll add a color to this remember i changed the attribute to color so yeah color so i think i don't think this is very good i think it's like too brownish so okay so this so i'm going to select the color like this yeah this is how it was before so alternate and backspace to add a new color this looks too washed out so i'm just going to select something in between like this okay i, I don't think i buy that color why am i not getting this color right i think yeah i think this is this okay i think this is okay this is okay and uh, then you can probably just add a brighter color at the top something like this to give it a little depth of feel so a little depth of field did i say feel field so i'm just going to add another color right on top of this place like this you know 
no light is really really one colored i mean what colors have i mean you don't have a color that's just one so now doing this i'm going to probably turn this off and get a darker color like this and just play around with these curves over here okay so i can make it 40 and just add this darker color yeah over here by adding this darker color okay so i feel like it's way too much so with the eraser tool i'm just gonna make it like this and yeah this one will have yeah like this i'm just erasing some parts because i feel like it's way too much so then you can probably just be a little bit dramatic like my mom sometimes <laughs> Just <laughs> and add this red make it a little bit brighter but then make the opacity say 20 and yeah this like this and when you do this like this it's going to now yeah, before and now you can probably just reduce the opacity over here to say how much you want like 50 or so yeah perfect so the next thing i want to do is to add lines in this shirt and that's what nobody gets to tell you so with this part i'm going to duplicate this layer one with ctrl j and i'm going to clip it as well with pressing alternate and coming between it and clip it as well and i'm going to use the pen tool now with the pen tool i'm going to just going to draw a line here and show you how to make all these lines very obvious so i'll come over to this place i'll draw the line exactly how i want it to this place and i'll press the bone tool now the bone tool is over here select the bone and select mid-tone now then i'll select how big i want this effect to be do i want it to be too big or too small now i want it to be like this now when it's like this i'm just sometimes i just come over to this place in between it and measure how big it's going to be i can make it smaller like this yeah by using the curly bracket you make it either big or small now i'm going to use the enter key one two now when i use the enter key it's going to apply the mid-tone effect to this place where this pen brush the pen tool is and the exposure is going to be at 30 now i'm going to i'm just i'm just going to press the pen tool and press enter now this one will have uh, this is how it was before and this high is now so you can do that to this place as well to just add this part so enter one two so this will have you see it's a simple trick that i do sometimes and i get these very nice line curves and it turns out very very nice i mean the first time i learned it i, I learned it on my own so the first time i learned it i was like oh my god i learned something new so You can just do that to make the picture pop up and to give it this nice feel. It feels like that's one of the words I say the most in this channel. This nice feel. Yeah, so for the shirt now, yeah, I'm here. Now you can also add it. You can also add that's why the pen tool feels like what is for geniuses. You can also add for different parts. It doesn't have to be a straight line. You can keep bending it and i mean to anyhow you want the line to be your pen tool is at your disposal so you can just do this and probably make the brush if i make the brush very big and add this line you see how it has covered all these parts but i'm just going to make it small like this and add you can make it just one how many times you press enter determines how many or how much the picture is going to look so the next thing i want to do is add shadows and highlights now the first thing i do is to add the mid-tone yeah, the, the bond tool and it's going to be mid-tones and then i'm going to just burn all these parts now i'm going to make it the exposure 20 like by pressing two on my keyboard so it doesn't get too much and i just go over this place like this then for the shirt right on under the arms i like making it a little bit dark and make this like this make this like this you know when you make it like that it's going to make it a whole lot better now i don't like adding too much effect by maybe making it 50 and then making this part dark like this now nah, it's going to spoil all what you are doing but you need the effect to be a little bit so I'll probably make it 20 or make it 30 or so and just give make the shirt look look very realistic and 3d ish so now 
I'm going to add uh, dodge, dodge is to make it bright. Now the dodge, and then I'm going to go to mid tone. Now the reason I'm using mid tone is because this shirt is a little bit dark, and then I'm just going to add light right above this a little bit. Remember, it's in ten, and light here. I'll probably make it twenty and add light to all these curves here, and then add light to the different parts of the shirt. Okay, that's too much, so I'm going to make it ten. Add light here, here, you know. Just add light, you know, to different parts where you want it. And then one of the last things I like doing is the icing in the cake. So I'm just going to add light here. Not light per se. I'm just going to make it bright, this part. So one thing I like doing is probably the shadows or highlights. I'll probably make the exposure say 30 or so. Now I'm just going to add this here like this. Then add this like this, you know. But when I'm when anytime I put this, I'm always smudging it out like this, smudging it out like this. Then I put for the highlights too. Whenever I do this, I do something like that. I'm always smudging it out. Now I'll do this, do this, yeah, something like this, like this, like this, you know. Work on something like this and. Whenever you do it, always smudge it out. Please, always smudge it out. It's going to be, is is so, so it doesn't turn out. So you don't have something. I've seen a lot of guys do things like this. You are something like this. You are something like this. You are something like this. Well, that's wrong. That that shouldn't be what you do because you are a professional. To be on this channel means you are a professional. Now I'm just adding highlight to this part. Uh, I mean the edges. Now the reason I'm actually adding highlight to the edges is because. I mean that's where light falls on so i think from time to time you should get pictures and see how light falls on the picture and with time you just get the hang of it and it's going to be a lot better so with this it now looks either to be animated or cartoonish so i'm just going to yeah do this like this yeah this is what we have it doesn't look like it's so much but with the highlight i'm just going to add a little bit of highlight here like this you know something like this and yeah for the back you know this back doesn't have so much light so i'm just not going to make it so obvious but yeah this will have so yeah something like this so this will have now before and now before and now so i'm making it look like light is coming from here and it's coming from or living there so i'm just going to turn this all off so we we'll see how it was before before and now before and now so it feels like it's a little bit it the color is quite different so i'm just going to add the color balance and i'll clip it to this part and just make it anyhow i want any color i want for the shadows the mid tones and the highlights and i'm going to make it any color i want so and then by doing that you realize that oh you have a very beautiful picture and a cartoonish feel now you can anytime you notice any part that is very very bright on the shirt one thing you should do and you should always try to do is to smudge that part out like all these parts they're so bright so smudge that part out or add the shadows or the bone just make it a little bit darker and then make at the end of the day you can smudge your overall picture and make it not so sharp i think that's virtually all and that's how i smudge the shirt and probably adding patterns on the shirt is a different ball game altogether but today this is all we are doing today so if you enjoyed this tutorial tell me what you think tell me really really what you think i really want to know and that'll be all for now i will meet you in the next video to have an awesome time bye bye